uh, time with you uh, to uh, to explain to you and to go through uh, the the my meetings tool that we're going to be using for the upcoming study group 16 uh, meeting. So agenda is as following. So we're going to look briefly at the overview of the tool. How does it look like and how it functions? And then we're going to look into the audio options. And after that, we're going to see some different user types, namely uh, moderators, how they function, and then also a different st audio status that you have uh, when you connect to this meeting. And uh, we're going to touch on the moderator options. As a moderator, what can you do during your sessions? And then finally, we're going to look into some in-session options, uh, such as the screen share, the raise hand, and the private chat. So to start, um, as you might have noticed already, this the tool is completely web-based. So this means that you don't need to install any application um, on your um, laptops or desktops. And additionally, it, um, it, the, there is no operating system limitation. So uh, you can use the Windows machine, you can use your Mac machine, a Linux machine, or even your Chrome, uh, Chromebook, Chrome OS uh, machine. Uh, but as long as you have one of the um, up-to-date browsers that are you see on this slide, the recommended ones are Chrome and Firefox. Uh, but also we have seen that the latest uh, new Microsoft Edge browser, which is a uh, Chromium-based, released in January this year, also functions well with this tool. And also other Chromium-based uh, uh, web browsers such as Brave or uh, Opera do function well. Additionally, you can also use your mobile to join sessions, again, without the need of installing any applications, but just using the web browser of the mobile. For iPhones, you will have to use the Safari browser. And uh, for Android phones, you can use any of the browsers that are you see here, but the mobile uh, version. So this is the, how the interface uh, looks like. So you will see on the left side, you have the list of participants. So everybody who uh, is joined the session will be listed here. And then you will see in the middle part, you'll have the public chat um, where anybody can interact with anybody at the same, at, at, at the, um, um, so if I type hello here, for instance, you'll be able to see that with the name of the person that is chatting and also the timestamp of that uh, message sent. And then on the uh, on the right side, you will see the screen share, uh, which you should be seeing now my uh, slides shared with you. There are also a couple of buttons which are available for you just under the screen share. So the first one is the mute unmute button. The second one will be to uh, to leave the audio. This means that you will if you by clicking this uh, this button, you'll be able to switch from one audio mode to another. Also, this button will allow you to change the um, the device that you're using uh, currently. We're going to go just uh, just after uh, in the audio options uh, slide. Uh, this might be different for those who have joined in listen only mode. They might see the leave button, the icon for the leave button might be different. It is so it's a headset, but uh, the functionality is the same. It allows you just to leave the button. And also, those who have joined in listen only mode will not see the mute unmute button because. In listen-only mode, you will not be able to use your microphone. The next button, which is available in Scene from All, is the screen uh, is the uh, the webcam button. So, as any any web conferencing tool, um, my meet, my meetings also allows uh, to you the usage of the screen of the webcam, uh, but we do not recommend using uh, webcams during our meetings and our sessions. Uh, simply because uh, of the usage of the bandwidth. As, as uh, many people joining our sessions have a limited uh, bandwidth uh, internet usage, so we prefer to use that for a better audio quality and for the uh, screen share. The next button, which is not always available for all, is this screen share button. You will only see this button um, if you have been made presenter during the session. So this button basically will just allow you to share your screen with other participants. And the last button that you see will be the leave button, which as it says, it just allows you to leave the session directly. 
As I mentioned before, so the first thing that you will notice and you will have to do well while joining the remote session will be to configure your audio. So there are two ways which you can join the audio during the sessions. If you choose the listen only mode, you will connect directly to the session. And uh, as it says, is it self-explanatory? Uh, it will only allow you to listen. You will not be able to use the microphone if you ch you've chosen this mode of audio. On the other hand, if you have selected microphone, then you will have to go through a couple of uh, sets, steps before you have joined the session. And this mode will allow you actually to use your microphone. So the first thing you will see, if you have selected the microphone, you might see that the browser will ask you to allow the usage of the, the microphone. So if you see this message, please make sure to click on the allow button. Now, um, you won't always see this. Yes, you will see this message only the first time uh, that you've joined with that particular machine or with that particular browser. And then the, uh, if you've clicked on allow, the browser will remember it and will normally not ask you again unless you use an incognito mode uh, for Chrome or in private mode for Firefox, or if you use another device or another browser. But in any case, whenever you see this message appearing, please make sure to click on allow. So once you've done that, you will go through this short echo test. So at this point, when you see this message, um, if you start speaking for a couple of seconds, you should be able to hear yourself back. If you don't hear yourself, but if you hear yourself, then it means that your microphone is configured properly and you can click on the yes button. If you don't hear yourself, um, means that there might be something wrong with your microphone. So please click on the thumbs down uh, no button. And this will provide you uh, with an extra options to configure your sources, your microphone or your speakers, because sometimes it's just a question of selecting the proper source. Uh, and then once you've done that, click back on the retry button and then, and then uh, go through the echo test again, and hopefully then your connection will work. Some of the problems that you might have with the audio if you see this problem, if you have this uh, message appearing that there's an issue with your media device. Okay, so just uh, one second, please, because I see that there's Noah who's trying to join, but um, we see him on the list here, but he has not joined the audio. Sorry, just one second. I will try to help. Uh... Um, so one of the issues that also like what we are having now with uh, the Cyber 16 chairman, actually, one of the problems might be that the, the browser for some reason has is not allowing or is blocking temporarily the usage of your microphone. And this can be, can be done sometimes can happen with your browser. So in order to, 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 to avoid this, please make sure you click on the padlock icon and then make sure that for Chrome browsers or Chromium based browsers, make sure that the microphone is set on allow. And for the Firefox, make sure that under permissions, it is not blocked temporarily. If it is, please unmute it and um, uh, just remove that and then you will be able to use your microphone. So another another issue that sometimes does happen is is the VPN, uh, which might block. And we've seen, we have noticed that in certain cases where uh, people trying trying to join their sessions using the VPN, not always, but in some cases uh, they are preventing uh, the VPN is preventing the usage of the audio. So hopefully that will be the problem for uh, for Noah. Let's see then when he comes back again, maybe he will be able to join his audio. So now, once you have uh, you have uh, selected the proper uh, audio setup, then you will go to the um, uh, you will then be uh, presented with different uh, participant types. As you can see, uh, in this session, you have uh, two types of users: you have the moderators, and then you have the viewers. So, uh, the, the distinction between moderators and the viewers is the icon uh, next to their name. So, whenever there's a user with a square. Um, form next to their name, it means that these are the moderators for this session. And you can see that for this session, me, myself and the CMAO are the moderators of the session. And the viewers or normal uh, participants will be de designed with a, a circle icon next to their name. 
and um, a couple of audio status uh, status that you, you might have during the session as you've seen before and i mentioned it to you you can join via uh, mic using a microphone or using a listen mode only so if you use your microphone um, then you have two modes you have it, the microphone icon if it's on red it means that your microphone is on but it's muted and if your microphone hi noah i think you're connected now we can hear you can you just mute maybe your line thank you so there, perfect so and then you have the uh, the if somebody's speaking and using a microphone the the small icon will go on green as it is the case for me right now. So this means that this particular person has not muted his line and he can, he can, he can start talking. Um, third mode is the listen only mode. So this is um, this people that have selected while joining the session, the listen only mode will have this uh, headset icon next to their name. So if you have this on your name and you wish to speak, please know that you will not be able to. And uh, in these cases, you will have to do, as I mentioned before, you will have to leave the audio clicking on the leave audio button and click back again to rejoin the session and then select microphone. So you have to switch from listen only to microphone mode if you, wish to, if you wish to speak. And then finally, you see that sometimes people might join, but they don't have an icon next to their name. This means that they are here, they have connected, but they just haven't connected their audio yet. And um, so they will be able to see the screen share, they will be able to, to, to chat, and but they will not be able to use their audio. So they will not be able to hear nor speak. And finally, just a small icon there for the presenter. Um, if you see, uh, there's a, to, in order to identify who is presenter, who is presenting uh, during the session, you have this small blue icon next to, um, to that person who is, who is presenting and which is the case for me right now. You should see that small blue uh, screen icon next to my name. That means that I am the presenter for this session. Uh, Gant, if I may, just to make a comment there. So yes. uh, two points, especially for, the, for people managing sessions. Mm -hmm. So when you have someone that is like at the bottom screen there that you have PA without the microphone, without the, the speaker, as Gant said, the person doesn't have the audio connected. That means that if that person has a problem, the only way to interact with that person is through the chat. So we had this case just happening to Noah, where uh, um, even though Gant was speaking, Noah was not able to listen. So the way to help him connect was to use the chat. So keep that in mind that when you see that uh, little uh, uh, no empty uh, part of the of the icon that means that the person will not be able to hear so you need to, uh, the only communication possible is through the chat uh someone might ask uh, wh why someone would uh, want to have that connection uh so in case that you might have two connections that you, you're not interested to have the audio in a second device you just want to have the screen share uh then you can use that kind of configuration that is kind of a little bit more advanced so uh this is uh uh let's say one way of using the tool that that you can explore uh, the other thing i want to mention is that uh, you can see on the list of users you can see that my name is kind of blinking it's because the audio is coming from me so uh, that's one way of identifying who is speaking but that can also be a, a way of identifying who is making a noise in the room and who and you should you would be able to you need to mute during your your meeting so that you can conduct it more and more carefully over thank you thank you very much Simon. actually yes i'm um, that's uh, that's right and I, i'm gonna go just uh, after uh, on the moderator options exactly what uh, what you just mentioned now and to show you a couple of a uh, couple of things that you can do actually as a moderator so as i said before so moderators are distinguished by uh, their circle icon by their uh, square icon sorry and as a moderator you can first thing that you can do you can make anybody presenter during the session so how do you do that you just click on their name and you will see that in the options that appear for you you will have one of them is the make presenter. So by clicking on that, you will make him presenter. 
And uh, the result will be, as you see here, is shown that the, the, the small screen icon, which represents the presenter, will go to that particular person. So you can do this as many times as you want. You can give the presenter rights to someone, and you can take them back for you or give to someone else. And uh, so as, as many times as you want during the session. Another option that you can do as a moderator, you can promote someone else as a moderator as well. This would be in cases maybe that you need some help um, during your sessions to manage the what Simao said, to mute people, to unmute people, to, to give them presenter rights, and so on and so forth. You can make anybody during the session a moderator, again, by clicking on their name and selecting the promote to moderator option. And you will see that as a result, that person will, his icon will switch from circle to square, defining him as a moderator. In the same way that you have made someone moderator, Simao? Yes, on the previous slide, I just want to make a comment. Yes. So as Gent said, one thing that you're going to see is that the little screen uh, sub icon is going to show on the person's main icon. But you, and I recommend you that you, you draw the attention of the person to another icon that appears in the, in, only for the presenter. Which is the share uh, the, the 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 present uh, uh, no the share desktop uh, uh, icon that shows up on the bottom part of his screen. He is the only person that's going to see that. And uh, uh, in previous meetings where I was helping moderating, uh, whenever I made the, I gave the the person the right to present, I would call their attention that the icon appeared on the bottom, and that they should. Uh, uh no click that uh and i did that i don't know dozens of times during the meeting because i noticed that uh when you're not in the in the role of having to present you don't pay attention and then when you get situation is what i do now people don't know so you have to call their attention to the fact that a new icon has appeared for them in the lower bar uh, so next to leave audio or to, to share webcam, there appear, it will appear a new a new icon, uh, and that they have to click there. And the second uh, thing that I recommend, I don't know if you, Gent is going to speak about that later, uh, is that I always recommend them to share a whole screen. Because if you share only a window of application, let's say you are editing one document, you share only that WinWord uh, window, uh, when, if you would decide that you want to change and show some other document or some other thing, you have to stop projecting and go over the process again. And that takes time and can be actually confusing. So I recommend always that people share a whole screen. Okay. Thank you again. Yes. Yeah. I, I, I was, um, that was in the, um, the next slides when we're going to talk about screen share. Thank you, Simo, for sure. Uh, so. If we continue now, so in the same way that you can promote someone to, to presenter, to moderator, sorry, you can also demote them back to viewer by clicking again on their name. And then, then you'll have the option for that moderator to demote him to viewer. Another option that you can do as a moderator, you can unmute someone. And this can be any, any user uh, in the session. Sometimes people don't know how maybe how to unmute themselves. So if you give them the floor and then there's a silence, sudden silence, and you can see that their icon is still red, it means that maybe, just maybe, they just don't know how to do that. But so you have this option to, to unmute them. And another option is to mute them. And this is uh, by far the most used option that uh, moderators might have to use. Because uh, as Simao mentioned uh, uh, minutes before, people sometimes tend to uh, take the floor and then speak and just forget to unmute themselves. And and uh, as Simao said, you can see that by uh, uh, the first of the scarf, you actually speaking. So if you see a second person's name, for instance, right now is my name. If you see a second person name after my name appearing, this is an indication ind indicator for you that someone is actually creating noise, background noise and you might wish to mute him. So how do you do that? By just clicking on their name and then just muting them. And finally, uh, another thing that you can do as a moderator is to remove someone from the meeting. This is not really uh, used, but it is there for you, so it's good to know. 
Okay, so now are we going to go to we're going to move to the screen share part. So as you still probably remember the at the beginning I mentioned to you to be able to share the screen the first thing what you need to do is to become presenter during that session and only moderators can give you the presenter right. And then once you've become presenter during the session you will see this extra button appearing under the screen share which is the share your screen. So all you have to do in that case, you just click on it, and then depending on the um, the browser uh, that you're using, for the Chrome-based browsers, for Chromium-based browsers, uh, you will see this window appearing on your screen. And this gives you a possibility to share your entire screen. It gives you a possibility to share just an application or even just a tab of the browser. And as Simon mentioned before, we recommend you to use the entire screen. This is because of the simplicity of moving documents from one to another. If you select select the application window and you select a specific application like a Word document, and then if you have to go to the next document, then you'll have to stop sharing your screen and you have to go to the procedure to again share screen and so on and so forth. It's, it's more, more uh, time consuming. And uh, so we, we recommend to use your entire screen. But you have to be aware then that uh, also the point when you're sharing your entire screen, anything um, that is uh, shown on your screen, even your private messages or any pop-ups or anything will be shown with everybody. So in this case, for instance, I've selected entire screen. And uh, then if you have two monitors connected, uh, the system will detect them both. And then we'll ask you which one you would like to share, start sharing. So you just select which, whichever you want to share with us and then click on the share button. And this will start sharing uh, your screen with other participants. If you're using Firefox, the same thing can be done, it's just, but it's just displayed a bit differently. Instead of having the tab view, you have a scroll down menu. So you'll have this, um, uh, this window appearing where you can select on a scroll down, what do you want to share with participants? Again, here you can select just an application or your entire screen. And once you've done that, you click on the allow button and then you will start sharing using your Firefox. Um, one issue that might happen sometimes with the Firefox, um, and it's worth mentioning it here because we have seen this happening uh, often. Uh, sometimes you might see this error message when you try to share with Firefox, telling you that the permission to access screen wasn't granted. Actually, this happens sometimes. Let me just go back to the previous slide. Because um, many times uh, delegates do connect beforehand and they want to test out this option of sharing the screen, okay? So they will click on the share screen button, they will see this menu, and then they just want to make sure that they can do this. And then at the, at the final point, they will not click on allow because it's too early to share their screen. They will say, okay, I won't share for the moment, I'll start sharing later. But as you can see, Firefox doesn't have a cancel button. Instead, it has the don't allow button. And that's typically what users will click. But behind what Firefox does, uh, it's, it uses the, um, uh, what Firefox does, he, he interprets this as you are not allowing him for, to share your screen. And this is why the next time you will try to share, he will say that your permission has been, hasn't been granted. So to avoid this, again, you will have to click on the padlock icon next to your URL. And under permissions, you will see that you are blocking temporarily the share screen. So by removing that, uh, you will be able to start sharing your screen again with Firefox. So this is only for Firefox users, please. And another thing as well that might block uh, the screen share, just like uh, I mentioned it also for the audio, uh, sometimes we've seen that different VPN clients do block the uh, screen share uh, uh, access. So Please, uh, if, you, if you have some sort of error appearing where you want to share the screen, please make sure you disable your VPN and try again, and then it will work. Another option which is um, useful during meetings is the raise hand. And this option is available for all users. So in order to raise your hand or to request for the floor during meetings, all you have to do is click on your name and then under set status, you will see that there are different emojis available for you. And the second one on the list is the raise hand. So if you click on that, you will see that the icon uh, will change. Instead of your initials, you will see a raise hand appearing. 
And additionally, um, you will see that the order list of the participants will change. So the moment that you raise your hand, you will go on top of the list. So yeah, I will invite you if you can. So please, yes, I see that uh, Yungta Wang has just requested the floor. And as you can see, he went all the way on top of the list. So this is a good way for you and for the chairs of the session to understand and see who has requested the floor first and to whom to give the floor first. So if I can have somebody else just raising their hand uh, by clicking on their name and uh, then selecting the raise hand option, uh, that would be nice. So we can see also live. Uh, uh, Yes, thank you, Paul. I see that now Paul has requested the floor, so on and so forth. So basically, this allows you just it, it will it will reorder the 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 users list by the order of who has raised the hand first. And in that particular point, the chair will give you the floor. You will unmute your line. You will have your intervention. And the moment you finish intervention, again click on your name, and then you have the option to clear the status. And if you do that, then the, the list of, order, of, of uh, users will go to this ordinary original um, alphabetical order. Another option which is uh, useful and it's available on uh, basically any, any web conferencing tool is the private chat. So you as, uh, as users, uh, you can do that or even as moderators, anybody can do during the session by simply clicking on that particular person's name and then starting a private chat with them. And you will see that as a result, um, under messages pane, just under the public chat, all the private chats will be listed there. So you can go back and forth from public chat to any private chat with anyone during the session. Also, I would like to mention that all these private chats are not logged anywhere and they're not, uh, they're not kept on any server on our site. So the moment that session ends, all these private chats uh, will be uh, deleted and uh, non that will not exist anymore. And then finally, once you have finished the session, you have two options. You can either click on the leave button, which is just under the screen share, or you can also click on the three dots menu on the top right corner and then select the logout button. So once you leave the session, you will be brought back to the main, uh, the main uh, remote participation page where all sessions will be listed. And also one other thing that I wanted to mention on the main session here, you have also a test session, which is available for you at any time, 24 seven. And I really invite you to, uh, to use it as much as possible, specifically before joining particular sessions, just to make sure that your audio is working well, your screen share is working well. Um, and, but or in order to test this better, Either you invite even your colleagues with you if you want to just to test it out, or you can also try to connect with different devices in the same session here. So this system allows you to connect multiple times with your name, so you won't have that problem. So you, I, I really recommend you, if you, it's possible, you join with your uh, laptop and then even your, your um, um, smartphone. So in this way, you can test in both ways the audio and you can see if the uh, screen share is working for you and any other option. So uh, this will be all from me. Um, so now, thank you very much for being here, for listening to me. Now I will open the floor for any questions. And we can also go through different uh, tests and options. And uh, we can do, um, I can see that some people had some problems also with the VPN. Maybe you can try your audio. I see that uh, Liang Wang is already requesting the floor. OK, if you have a question. <coughs> Okay, uh, thank you very much. Uh, sorry for being late. Uh, there's uh, some problem with my audio, but uh, when I close my VPN, it is okay. Uh, uh, I miss uh, I miss uh, the contents before, so I want to ask you uh, three questions. The first yes. one is, uh, yeah, I want to know how to change the name in the meeting. And uh, do you want me to ask all of the questions? Uh, then you yeah. can ask. Okay. The second one is, uh, uh, when we uh, um, record the meeting, um, uh, from where I can find the recording file about this meeting? Mm -hmm. uh, that's the question. And uh, the third one is, how can I be the chair uh, when I host a meeting? 
you know, yeah. Uh, more, yeah, that's just real question from me. Thank you. Yes, thank you very much, um, uh, Liang. So these are very, very good questions, actually. So the first one, um, it was, uh, allow me again, I already forgot your first question. So the second one uh, was concerning the recording. Okay, the first first one is how to change my name during the yes, right change name. Yes, sorry for that. Yes, so actually, actually change, uh, the the system is based. Uh, we have on one of the. Um, can I thank you? Yes, just to be sure. Thank you very much. So actually, we get the system from your the name from your uh, ties ties profile from your ITU account profile. So uh, unfortunately, the name change cannot be done in the tool itself. But if you want to change your name, you'll have to go to the uh, to your ties profile and change it there. And the, these changes will be then uh, reflected on the tool itself. So. Um, and the second question was regarding the recording. So uh, for the recordings, actually only moderators can record sessions. And, and the, the, uh, the, um, uh, in, during ITU meetings, we generally do not record any sessions except the opening and the closing plenaries, which will be then webcasted uh, on the archives of uh, the particular study group. And, uh, but if you wish to sometimes record a session, you won't be able to, to retrieve it immediately for yourself. There's no local recording. The button recording will record it on our cloud, on our servers in ITU, and then only uh, us will be able to retrieve that uh, recording and provide it to the user. And the third question was about the moderators. So um, there are two ways of doing this. Uh, what we're going to do for the study group uh, 16 uh, um, uh, sessions, we're going to make uh, moderators by default uh, the uh, the rapporteurs of those particular questions. So whenever you join the session, you will join automatically as a moderator, and being a moderator will allow you then to uh, to share screen, to do anything you want uh, to manage your your session properly. And on the other hand, you can make someone during the session moderator. But for you who are the rapporteurs of the each question, we will make sure to to put you uh, to to put you beforehand. So whenever you join, you will be automatically uh, made as moderators. I hope I answered your questions. Okay. Okay. Thank you, Jen. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Okay. So now I see. Um, we have from the list I see here, there is only one person that has not managed to connect yet the audio. I don't know, I couldn't follow everything. I, I, I don't know if he was connected before or not, uh, but um, I, I'll see some that some people have joined in, uh, in listen only mode. Now, uh, if you have been here since the beginning, I've mentioned that you can change this if you like to, um, okay, it's the VPN. Uh, that's was because you had an issue okay before joining okay yes so vpn usually just does solve uh, the audio and the screen share of uh, problems um so if one of if one of uh, you uh, i see mei huatao ye chao wang yu uh, wei wang and hei tao zhang have connected only listen mode only if you want please to switch to microphone you can do that now uh, by clicking on the leave audio button which will be then uh, converted to rejoin audio. And then by clicking there, you will be able to select the microphone and connect with your microphone. If you wish to test your, your microphone and to make sure that your audio is working well, you can do that now if you want, please. Ms. Liang Wang, I see that your hand is still raised. So uh, if you want to speak again, then yes, no problem. But if you have finished intervention, what you can do, as I said before, you click on your name again and you can clear your status. So then you can go back to the alphabetical order list. Okay, so yes, we have some people now trying to join. In the meantime, maybe we can ask uh, someone who wishes just to test their audio. Please free, free, feel free to, to unmute your line at any time. Don't need to ask for the floor because this is an informal session. There's a, so you can just uh, unmute your line and start speaking if you, if you want to test your, your microphone. Now would be a good time. Okay, test, test one, two, three. Hello, test yes. One, three. Yeah. 
Can anybody hear me? Yes, Jinjang Zhang. Sorry for, for mispronouncing your name. Uh, Gang, yes. So yes, we can hear you well. Thank you very much. Thank you. Okay, thank you. Hello. Oh. Can you hear me, Jing? Just yeah, Lang Zhang, yes. Yes, I can hear you very oh, well. Good. Yes, thank you very much. Okay, well, thank you. If anybody else still wants to just test their audio or even hello. furthermore, yes, hello. Hello, this is speak from Miss Mia. From Mia. Hello. Can you hear me? Yes. Yes, I can hear you. Yes, Mio. Okay, okay, okay. Yes, yes. That, that one question. Yes, I asked it. Maybe you. Yes. Asked me that uh, it it is the problem of the VPN. I just uh, come back to my companies and ask uh, the IT staff to say, but they check the in the background that say that there is no block from the VPN for your audio test. But uh, she, she asked me to to apply another the authorization for the uh, VPN to to just allow me to pass the audio test but i don't know if, if it, it works or not so i try to test it tomorrow again with the uh, vpn and the, the special authorization uh, authentication and okay uh, and we'll come I back see. again well it, now it's working how are you connected now with or without the vpn uh, no, no without a vpn but uh, the connection is not very good because the vpn will provide a more uh, connection uh, bandwidth but uh, ah, the I see. normal connection is it's not, not very good. Okay. Well, so far it's good, but maybe, uh, yeah, in a long term it might not be stable, but so far your connection is good. But yeah, maybe if you want to share your screen or something, then we, you might you might run into problems. So yes, uh, Miao, yeah. thank you for this. If you want, we can do further tests afterwards or something uh, on, a, on a separate uh, session yeah. if you want. Okay, tomorrow tomorrow I will do it again with VPN. And if it's it a field again, I, I Oh, okay, you can you can contact me yeah. by email, and then we can I can also join and we can do this together. Yes. Uh, yes, okay. Again, thank you very much. Can I join the test? Can I join the test uh, tomorrow? Tomorrow morning with uh, Miao Chen Yang. Yes. Yes, of okay. course. Hello. Hello. Can you hear me? Hello. Hello. Hello, Ms. Yang, uh, can, you hear Ms. Yang, can we ask you to try to test my microphone? <laughs> I yes. can hear you. Yes, hello. Thank you. Yeah. Yes, thank you very much. We can hear you. Wait. Yeah, thank you very much. Okay, so very good. So um, if somebody still wants to test their audio, please feel free to. Uh, Simon, just, maybe you want to add something? Idea that uh, when, when you join, if you want to softly test your before a formal session, you want to Give, have a little test. Uh, you can always open the microphone and say hello, good morning to you all, or something like that. And can you hear me? So that's a soft way of uh, uh, checking, making a sound check. That is also uh, uh, nice to say hello to other people. Yeah. Yes. So that's one one method. Over. Thank you. Uh, is anybody else wants to test the audio? If not. I don't know, maybe Simo, uh, you can also advise here if you want to maybe uh, try out some different moderator options for if someone, because I don't know exactly who's going to be rapporteurs here or just uh, normal users or because it, it would be important for rapporteurs specifically to know all this uh, tool, this uh, moderator options that I just mentioned during this session to play around with them and also try out the screen share. That's uh, that's very very good to do this beforehand so that we don't uh, you don't lose time b before uh, starting your sessions. Yeah, that's right. That's a good idea. Uh, let's see. I can try to let uh, Noah be a presenter. Would Noah be up to that? Try to get uh, show display something on the screen. Is the, it, he'll be the first one during the study group sixteen meeting. Okay, Noah, if you hear us, can you yeah, maybe just unmute uh, your line? Yeah, I can hear you. Yeah, I can. I hear Very you. good. So, can okay, we make so you present? Can we make you a presenter, Noah? Yeah, yeah. It is. All right. So, uh, at this point, uh, uh, you see that the icon for Noah has changed. Uh, it has a little blue sub icon on the top. 
you can also see that his uh, icon is uh, is uh, blinking so that means that uh, there is sound coming from his end uh, and uh, Noah should see uh, a new icon on your on your screen on the bottom part uh, yeah yeah I can see the... about uh, to display the to share the screen so you might want to to try that and uh, then make a selection, a selection option to display an application or to see the whole screen. Please go ahead. Are you able to share the screen or? I'm trying to, yes, I'm a. I mean, uh, which is a new icon, so. You should see, uh, help me with this uh, uh, again, it is mute or a mute, uh, leave audio, start sharing webcam, and then there is another one, another blue. Uh, 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 icon that should have shown on your screen. Uh, it's a uh, action mute. Leave all the oh yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. That one. That one. Yes. Okay. Actually, Gent, you didn't say anything about the action button. You could say something about that later. Okay. Yes. The idea is not to use it because it's too it goes to too advanced then, but I want to keep it as minimum possible. So that's something to say at least. Huh? Yeah. <laughs> okay. No, ah, yes. Something is coming up now. Yeah. So yes, now we see you're sharing your. Is it a full screen you're sharing? Yes. So now, if you if you minimize your Firefox, okay, we should be able to see if you have, or if you open any documents on top of it or anything, we should be able to see that. Have you seen anything? No. Y yes, we see we see your browser that yeah. has a uh, you share the screen. Do you see my uh, Do you see my desktop? No, I think I think you select your okay. option in the in the sharing. Okay, I will I will try again. I will try again. You have to stop sharing, <laughs> and then uh, you have to stop sharing. Yeah. Yeah. Then start sharing, and then select the the, the correct. Uh, let's uh, select uh, the the screen. You have, how many screens do you have? One or two? I have uh, just one uh, screen. Uh, yeah, okay. So I will yeah, suggest uh, you share the whole screen. Yeah, entire screen. And now uh, okay. choose the entire screen. Yes. No, My screen? I'm just going to make a, another comment while I have you online. I can see that you're not using a headset. And every time we speak, there's an echo from your side so if possible okay. during the meetings to have a, a headset with you would be nice first of all for a good quality of better audio quality and second of all to avoid the echoes now we can see your full screen very good so now we see also your okay. desktop uh, your task bar yeah uh, no, no, okay. Yeah. yeah okay next time i will use a uh, headphone yeah sorry sorry now this time yeah yeah, no problem, no problem. This is this is this is why we do this all these tests and tutorials to 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 understand all these problems to make sure that they don't uh, appear during actual sessions. Very good. That that was that was good. You could, you managed to share your screen. We saw it. Okay, even though briefly, but I think it will work. You know what yeah. to, what to but do. It was, uh, it was also good to show that it's not trivial. So uh, I would encourage yeah. uh, any of the other reporters and associate reporters to try to 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 be presenters. So. Uh, who would like to do that? Paul probably knows how to do that. He did that a few times. Uh, maybe uh, uh, Miao would like to to try. 
to be presenter. Or uh, Yung Tao, Wang, okay. Okay. Yang, uh, um, I, think I can to... be the presenter. Okay, so I'm going to make you presenter. And okay. you will see that the presenter icon will come next to your name. And then you should see this extra button uh, oh. next to the leave button below the screen yeah, share, actually, which will I... allow you to share. Yeah, actually, I got this message. It says screen share is currently not supported in Safari. Please use Firefox or Google Chrome. I'm currently oh, yeah. Safari. Yeah, right. Very good. So yes. the, you see, we are, <laughs> that's why we're doing these trainings. <laughs> yes, as you, I don't know if you were here since the beginning. Actually, Safari was not on one of the supported browsers. Yeah. At least it's not yet yeah, the right. case. Soon, I hope they're going to support the WebRTC technology, which is behind all this, allowing to use uh, real-time communications via web. But Safari does support it, but not fully. And one of the problems is the screen share, actually. So if you can maybe yeah. just switch to another browser, would be nice. Um, OK. Uh, actually, I was, I was yeah. yeah, I was here as of the very beginning, and I'm aware that Chrome may be the best choice. But uh, actually, I'm I'm using my Mac now, and I'm using my Chrome. But mm -hmm. I keep receiving the uh, you know, the the, the blank screen. I tried the uh, command plus uh, function five, but it didn't work. Yes. But when I tried Safari, I can get access to this meeting room. Yes. Uh, so I, I just kept using Safari. Yes. Uh, uh, what I would suggest is that you try in Chrome, try to open an mm -hmm. incognito window. OK. Yeah, right. try to connect. You can do that in parallel without the closing this session. You can go and, and try to, to connect with it uh, now to see if it is work. So you open an incognito okay. window and you go to remote.itu.int okay. and you try to connect. And uh, uh, there uh, you would, uh, I, I, you might be able to connect with that. And if, it, if that's okay. the reason, it is really an issue of uh, the cache not being cleaned. Uh, and uh, with uh, the incognito mode in Chrome, you can, you bypass that because it ignores all this all the cookies saved. So you can you always start fresh. Okay, okay, thank you, Simo. Uh, I think I will try that. Yeah. Yes, give it a try. And uh, while you are you are trying to connect uh, with that, then maybe you we want to uh, let uh, Liang try to be a uh, presenter. I think she wanted to to do it. Okay, okay, thank you. Now I will yes. try to share my uh, how to so, share my screen. First thing is that the chair needs to make you presenter, so again, to just did that. So now you see the icon on the uh, yes, icon, icon of the share. Yeah. share my, uh, yes. Uh, that's right. It's starting. It's very good. And now we see a, a PDF file uh, being shared on the screen. Yes. So it, it is still sharing. Yes, we, we see your PDF. Are you uh, you can see yeah, my PDF? Actually. Okay. Yeah, okay. Share. Yes. yes. We still it, it, uh, uh, yeah, publication. Yeah. About this. WKSA. We see the WTSA okay, okay. is in Tunisia. And, uh, yeah, okay. That's okay. So, oh, you know, so okay. and uh, this is good. If you can leave it just for a second here. Okay, it's okay. I just wanted to mention that if you see that mirroring effect, like we just saw there, don't panic. That's normal because you're sharing a screen on a screen. And uh, that's normal because uh, to, to have this, this, uh, this effect uh, appearing. So this is, and this will only be seen when you're sharing um, the uh, the application itself when you're on the browser of the application. The moment you go to another browser or you show another document or something, uh, that will that won't be seen by by participants. It's the video equivalent of acoustic feedback. <laughs> yes, exactly. It's a, yeah, because you're sharing on a sharing on a yes. This, this gives you this mirror. Uh, it's like you have two mirrors. Uh, so that's perfectly normal. That's all I wanted to say. If you see that, it's good. 
it, it seems that the poll clicked the delete audio rather than uh, the uh, <laughs> the mute button. Yeah, we lost we lost Paul for a second there. Yeah, I sorry, I, I I clicked on, I clicked on the wrong button. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we need to re rethink again to the position of this little audio. It's very easy to to make a mistake and click the wrong the, one. Which one? Leave audio. Leave the audio. Yeah. Okay. We, need, we need to to rethink uh, the the arrangement on the screen of that. Or but, may, maybe just space the buttons out a little bit because they're actually, yeah. but, but yeah. both the, yeah. the mute and the leave audio are the same color blue. And I pre <laughs> yes, True. yes, that, that's what made the difference. I clicked on the wrong one. Yes, I, I have done that as well by accident. Yeah, it's, it's not. I think it's 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 useful to to tell people you know to if they're not speaking. Uh, you know, go back to mute. Otherwise, you can pick up all kinds of background noises. Like uh, I think Wang Liang. I think she said she's in the gym, but it it sounded like she's in you know the middle of some building site or something. It's really noisy. Yeah, she mentioned yeah. that on the chat that she is in a, in a gym. Yes, yeah. yeah, yeah. I, I'm in the gym. Oh, you're right. Yeah, I'm in the gym. Okay. Very good. Uh, okay. Very good. Um, anybody else, uh, potential candidate? I see that uh, Yun Tao has joined uh, separately. Still, he doesn't have the audio, but uh, I guess uh, he was able to connect with Chrome. I yeah, this looks like a different browser now connecting, maybe. Yun Tao, maybe you can... Uh, let's just wait for the audio, but he can already, I think, should be able to hear us. Okay, now I see... Yun Tao, can you unmute? Let us know. Okay, uh, now I'm, uh, okay. I'm gonna... uh, You have yeah. to cut the audio from the other browser because it's creating echo. Yeah, right. So you have to click the leave audio on the other computer. Now you have both on, both microphones on. Yeah, this no, no. Is... no, not the mute. You have to click the leave audio. Leave audio. Let me try. On the other one, on, on the, the Safari. One. Safari. I think it's working. Okay, yes. Yeah, I quit the uh, Safari one and uh, I got access to this Chrome one. Okay, very good. Very good. So you, can, uh, you can maybe try to project. So Gent made you a presenter. You have the, the, the blue screen on, on your icon. So you can now uh, find the, uh, the new icon on the center of the, of, of the, the screen. Um, Yes, you did Very it. Good. So, Something good. is coming up. Yes, so that's the infinite yeah. window effect uh, showing. Ah, again. Right. Okay. So that is, as as Gent said, this is normal. It's okay. because you're you're projecting the window that is being projected, so it gets an infinite project projection. So in the moment that you switch that to another window. Mm -hmm then this would disappear so let's say you select a, an application uh, uh yeah like that, that or you open word or something then that okay. uh, window within window disappears you can see the uh now you're in uh, word yes yes you've opened a blank document yeah very good yeah right okay okay it's working yes okay Exactly, and then okay. to stop, you just click on the stop sharing. Perfect, that will stop. Okay, very good. So, All right. So, uh, yeah, I don't know if anyone would like to have a try to to go for uh, being presenter to 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 try. Maybe Rosa would like to try to do that. In case there is an emergency and you need you to step in. Yes, Imao. Okay. So are you able to, to try? Yes. So Gent made you a presenter. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna share. So you should screen. see you should see, yes, there is this icon on in the mm -hmm. in the middle of the, the main screen to share a screen. Yes, I'm just clicking on share yes so. and then you should select what to share and we suggest that you share the whole screen mm -hmm. okay uh, 
Inshallah. While Rosa is doing this, what I'm going to do now quickly, I'm just going to make you, I'm going to promote you all to moderators. So you just have an idea of all different options that you can do as moderator. If you click on somebody's name, you can mute them, you can unmute them, you can, they can, you can demote them some to, to viewers. Rosita, we see your screen, the mirror effect, very good. Yeah, so. You could uh, get, uh, I don't know, some of the win um, windows that are already open, like Word. Just click yeah, on maybe. the Word icon down there. Yeah. Or or the browser, yeah. Or Word or something, yeah. yeah. Then we can see what, uh, no, then then we see, we see now a Q8 16 meeting uh, uh, RGM page. Mm -hmm. uh, so yeah, so that's how it works. Okay. So in the meantime, I've made you all promoted you all to moderators. Now uh, you can see that if you click on somebody's name, you will see much more options. For instance, if somebody I'm speaking now, anybody can now mute me. For instance, I'm speaking, I'm speaking. You can mute me. You can even demote me to a viewer, and then you can give presenter rights. You can take presenter rights by yourself. You can do all these sort of things uh, that the moderator can do during meeting. And this is also good to, to, to have a test and try them out because it, it, it will be important for you during your sessions uh, to know. Mm -hmm. So if someone can mute me, for instance, I'm not muting myself yet. So if one of you participants can mute my line, just click on my name and then you can say mute because I'm speaking too much. That's right. So the other way of muting or unmuting a person is uh, you can see on the top of the screen above the white uh, screen, welcome to ITU TA meetings. There is a, there you can see two names, you see Gant and myself. So if you click yes. uh, uh, on the name of the person there on the top. Yeah, somebody muted you, I guess. Yes, so and then you cannot unmute if you click quickly, but then the person will disappear. The name, if you unmute, if you mute the person, the name will disappear. So, this uh, uh, top part of the screen is also a good indicator uh, yes. of who has the microphone open and uh, potential sources of, of sound of noise during the meeting. So, if you see someone uh, showing up there that shouldn't be speaking because you know, it's, you're not expecting the person to be speaking. We speak at that point might be someone that is distracted and left the microphone open or uh, turned it on by accident uh, and so on so you just can just click there the the name and then that you mute you don't need to go through the whole list to look for the person so it's a, a very quick uh, way of, of doing that and uh, sometimes it's even useful to see who is about to ask for the floor because it's like in the meeting room that uh, you see someone clicking the, the microphone, you see the microphone going red. Uh, so you kind of uh, uh, see that is that someone that's kind of about to speak or would like to speak. So you can have a, a hint of that uh, showing up in the, in the upper part of the screen. So it's a good area to monitor during your sessions. And I see Miao, you've joined another uh, with a second account. Is this um, without VPN or is this the same device or it's a different device or it's a different browser? Yes, I tried to, to log into my laptop and it's another device and now it's a VPN. So I'm just this testing is... the, if I can log in in the two devices. To... Ah, okay, very good. Okay. Yes, uh, one thing that I, I, I did uh, a few weeks ago was that I had uh, I was using two computers, one computer to to project, and another computer to uh, speak and to uh, do other functions like you know checking emails and uh, doing other things that I had to do, just because in that particular computer the uh, the load on the CPU was too big. And it was difficult to to manage, so I decided to use two computers. So that is a uh, also uh, a function that you might uh, consider uh, doing if you if you have to. But if you do that, make sure to to 
only have audio in one computer, don't let audio in two computers. And to do that, you either join without audio or you leave audio on the on the on the on the computer. It's not sufficient to mute, you have to leave audio because the mute will just block the microphone, but the speaker will still be working. Yes, that's a uh, very good. Some very good uh, advice is there, Simo. Thank you. And also, as as you as you can see now, Miao, you have joined this session with two accounts, uh, two separate uh, de devices, and so nothing prevents you also to join different sessions at the same time if there's, there are multiple sessions running at the same time. So you can join them all at the same time. But as Simao mentioned at that point, then you, you might have to make sure that you don't enable audio on all of them because then you will receive different audios from different uh, sessions. And this is where the leave audio button will be um, useful for you. So you can switch from one audio to another if you, depending on what you want to follow and at what time. Yes, the other way of uh, of joining without audio is that when you are offered that the, the, that screen in the very beginning when you join, uh, there is microphone and, and the listening only. If you just yes. you don't select any of the two, you just close that window. If you do that, you join without audio. So in that way, you are sure not to, to disturb the other session by an accidental part or that you have uh, some audio uh, for a few seconds on. So that's also a method to join without audio. OK, I think uh, oh, thank you very much. Uh, people don't have uh, any more questions, I suppose. Uh, um, so I'll just uh, reinforce what the Gantt said several times. There is that uh, um, option for the test session. Uh, so please feel free to use it. You can even say get you know, two or three people that you know, and they can agree and you can join that test session. And then you can experiment there and play. When you join that, you're going to be uh, with moderator rights. So you can experiment all the functionality of the, of the sessions. And you shouldn't be worried about messing things up because it's just a test session. Uh, no, it doesn't matter. You can you can uh, uh, do all the mistakes that you want. That there is that has no effect uh, in the system. So that one is is a is a good tool to experiment and to try new things and get familiar with the sequence of operations. Because the last thing you want during chatting a session will be to get lost in the middle of how I do this, how I do that. So the test session is a good way to do a drill so that you, you'll be uh, very familiar with it too. So if there are no more questions, then maybe I would like to thank Gant a lot for his time and uh, uh, spent here to, to help us uh, uh, navigate better and use this tool. I hope it, the session has been useful. And uh, uh, I will uh, uh, then uh, uh, meet you next time. Probably uh, you, you saw that there is a second run of this session uh, that you're going to run the week before study group 16. Uh, and uh, then uh, I will, uh, uh, we can repeat that. If you, you are free to rejoin it if you want. Uh, but uh, uh, hopefully uh, that is also another opportunity. If there are other people that you know that uh, should join this, please uh, uh, remind them and encourage them to join. There are no more yes. comments. Then thank you again. Thank you, you. Thank you all. Thank you, Simo. Uh, and then I just want to say uh, in the end that you can always contact us at any time, even if you want to do a one on one test sessions uh, by the email that is displayed on the screen here TSB e meetings at iq.int. So please don't hesitate. Feel free to contact us at any time. Me or my colleagues will reply to you, and then we can uh, we can help you out if you have any issues, or even if you, as I said, you want to do a specific uh, private uh, test session uh, with us. Don't hesitate. Thank you. Great. Thank you again. Thank you all for, for taking the time and joining us. OK, thanks a lot. Talk to you later. Okay, bye, bye. Thank you very bye. much. Bye-bye, everyone. Bye. 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 bye.